Hello again, a new day, a new project, and you know, I've been asked about what is the filter doing to our LoRa helium environment? What's a cavity filter or a saw filter doing? You know, kind of simple analogy. You have a flashlight, okay? A big, big, big round piece of light, let's call it. It's spreading all around, you know, but you don't see too much detail. Of course, it's light there. You can see, uh, you know, your path, you can see where you are walking and so on. But if you focus to a point, then you have a really bright beam of light straight to a, I don't know, a place of interest or uh, a point of interest. Anyway, so. I found a really nice and interesting software. This is a spectrum analyzer. This one is working in conjunction with uh, RTL SDR uh, radio. You know, this radio is capable of listening or let's call it receiving uh, all the radio signals in a dedicated uh, or a certain range of frequencies. This software is helping us to see what's happening in that uh, range of frequencies, in that band, let's call it. Okay, you know, a radio can give us some sound, but also the software can give us some view about what's happening there. Now, of course, there is no antenna here, and uh, you can see this is the um, noise level, the radio noise floor, let's call it and uh, our frequencies are set from 800 megahertz to around 940 uh, megahertz and the LoRa helium it's somewhere follow the mouse you know it's somewhere around here we'll see that uh, very soon now i'm attaching an antenna even this is not a dedicated uh, 868 megahertz, you know, lower antenna, uh, because it's a Wi-Fi antenna. But even so, we already seen at the end of this uh, band, we already seen the worst enemies of any LoRa helium receiver. These are the GSM commercial bands, and they are so strong, you can't believe it and uh, you can imagine the miners have a little radio you know it's a tiny radio compared with this commercial stuff you know pretty okay for the purpose of having LoRa signals but you can imagine the mass this big commercial uh, signals powers you know in the air are making to the miners so now we are 766 to 973 megahertz. Look at these guys here. In this area, 800 and the other one around 900. And, um, okay, let's see something. Auto scale. Look, we have a better look now. Now I'm going to fake uh, a LoRa signal, you know, using my nano VNA and uh, making it... Uh, generating a radio signal on 868 megahertz that's for us to have a clear idea where we are and uh, what we have around you know okay cv 868 megahertz and now look this spike here it's the nano vna sending on 868 Okay, I'm the antenna, you know, touching this wire. Yeah, by the way, let me have a real antenna because I have a rock antenna in the window. Just for experimenting purposes. Okay, there we go. Ho, 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 ho. Look at these guys. You can see. So I have this uh, mini emitter, radio emitter, in very close proximity with the antenna. <laughs> it's just a tiny something there. Okay. Compare with this uh, big, big, really big uh, signals. All right. So it's time 
to introduce a filter or the D filter, right? Okay, so this is 868 and this one have a loss of 2.2 dB. And I'm going to take out the antenna. Of course, no signal on the screen. And plug in the antenna again. And there we are. So, no more noise. All we got there is just the beam from nano VNA on 868 megahertz. It's so very clear. Everything is clean. Okay, I push a little bit again. All right, then we have some. Uh, we have some harmonics there too. Uh huh. There we go. That's the right position. You know, this is not an antenna, it's just a piece of wire, by the way. Okay, so you can see very, very clear how everything is clean around the main 868. And now, let me have the filter out and let's plug in the antenna only. And there we go, people. Look at this. <laughs> the giants are back. I think the idea is very clear. What is the filter doing? It's cleaning all the other signals around 868 megahertz and makes the signal much more, uh, how can I say, feedable to the radio. So now the miner can listening really careful to this certain frequency, you know, around 868 megahertz. Okay, that's for Europe or the others, 915 and so on. Okay, filter back. And there we are, a very clean area. Nothing else, it's bothering the receiving uh, minor. So nothing, nothing else bothering the miner to have a clean and nice receiving signal. Okay, that was for today. I hope it's uh, useful. And uh, if you like, push the button and uh, also subscribe. And uh, I'll be back with some other stuffs. In the meantime, don't forget to have fun. Bye-bye.